Hi everyone, welcome to my holy grail skincare and random items. I'm going to get the random items out of the way first and as always I think you should do your own homework. This is why I don't mention a lot of supplements and things that we take, but I wanted to mention turmeric. It's obviously best if you can get the raw form of the spice in, but I can't do that. It was easy when I was in India, not so easy on the American diet. but. This is a really good turmeric. It's not expensive and it's made in the USA so you feel like it's good quality. You can obviously make your own little pills of turmeric. I just don't have time for that and like I said this isn't expensive. Both Mark and I take this. There's so many benefits to it. As I said, do your own research. Another supplement I did a whole video on is diatomaceous earth, otherwise known as dirt. I'm not going to go into all the benefits, but we take this every single morning and swear by it as well. Another random item is these gum picks. I love these. You just poke them in between each of your teeth and they keep my teeth extremely healthy. Another supplement, monolaurin. If you could eat enough coconut, you wouldn't need to take this. It surrounds the bad bacteria, doesn't touch the good bacteria. Anytime we're around anybody who's sick, we take one. We take one a week no matter what. We'll take an extra if we're around somebody who's sick. I take an extra if I'm feeling a little bit. If I'm feeling like I'm really getting sick, I'll take five morning, lunch, dinner, nighttime. Four, five, six times a day if I have to. And by the next day you wake up, you'll feel totally fine. We haven't been sick in years and we've been able to always catch it early thanks to the monolaurin. Anytime we go to big events like an airport or a sporting event or something around a lot of people, a hospital, we'll take extra. Like I said, one a week is the absolute bare minimum and then we'll take one extra as needed and if you're getting sick, take a lot and knock it out of your system. This is so inexpensive as a preventative and when it means you aren't sick, it's fantastic. The only downside is everybody at work knows about it and I no longer can have sick days. <laughs> More health items, your thyroid. I have gone through so much lately. I'll have a whole video up on it for you. Swear by your thyroid meds. You have to have them regulated properly, but they're amazing. And then hormone meds, which can obviously affect so many things, your hair loss, your skin, your sleep. And the two of those to me are essential. I'm going to put this in the random items versus the skincare. This is the glycolic gel peel and I put this on the back of my hands and any other age spots I have. I'm starting to just put it directly onto the spot. If you put it all over, you will bring spots that you didn't know you had up to the surface. This applies any, your hands, your legs, wherever you put it. So I've noticed that I've brought some spots up to the surface, which I'm not thrilled about. So I'm simply dotting it onto the specific spots and working on getting those away. Teeth whitening products, along with hydrogen peroxide. I get this from the dollar store. It's a little pen. I keep one in my purse. You click it up, you paint it on. I don't worry about wiping it off or rinsing it. This is a gel with the tooth guard for $1 at your dollar store. You just can't beat that from Home Depot. Mark buys acetone, I take it, I refill my nail polish remover. If you don't want acetone for your nail polish remover, then you wouldn't like that. If you want to pay five times as much at Sally's, that's fine, but 100% acetone, I figure, go to the source. <laughs> uh, for my eyelashes, Bemaprost. This is a no-name of Latisse. And I will link where I buy it below from a source in India. There's many other sources that are much more expensive. I usually get, I think, eight bottles for maybe seven, eight bottles, I can't remember, for around $90. So obviously it lasts me for a while. I love this and you will see a result within the first week. It's amazing on my eyelashes and I even paint a little bit on to my eyebrows. And the last item before we get into Skincare is for cleaning my brushes, Dawn dishwashing liquid. I sometimes will throw in a little bit of olive oil to help break down uh, the makeup on the brushes and then do another rinse with this. Fantastic. As you can see, I don't bother with the, no the name brand. It's just fabulous to get your brushes clean lickety split. 
I'm going to try and do these in the order that I take off my makeup and apply the oils and the different creams and things so you can see how it progresses. Very first thing I do is baby oil on a makeoff pad. I hold it onto my eyes till my eyelashes dissolve, my uh, mascara dissolves, and I, it all starts coming off. It just takes 30 seconds not even on each eye. You just saturate it and hold it on. Do the next one. I flip the pad over and I do a wipe down to help break down the makeup on my face. So that's the very first step. The second step is I use a scrub. I am not going to promote any scrub because right now I am changing. I want to get away from the beads. I want to have something smooth. If you have something that you would recommend that's from the drugstore, let me know. After I do a scrub, I rinse my face and then I use my Kirkland Makeoff Wipes. That helps me get off the final residue of makeup. And then I wash with my charcoal soap. I love this soap. It deep cleans in the pores like nothing I have ever known. It's amazing. If I wanna do a mask, I will do usually a Freeman, something like this, the charcoal black sugar polish. I also like the Queen Helene's. Those are really good masks as well. There's all different ones for all different purposes. And then as a final rinse, and also I use this in the morning as my Trader Joe's all-in-one facial cleanser. No scent, no anything bad for you. It's just very clean, very simple. This will not break down your makeup. I do all those steps first, so my face is very, very clean by the time I use this. And in the morning, it's just to get off all of the uh, retinols and all the creams that I've put on. So this, like I said, is not something that's going to break down your makeup, but if you want an unscented, very gentle um, cleanser, I think that this is a fantastic one. I should have mentioned before I start cleaning, a bandana. <laughs> I get these from the dollar store. Just put them over top of your head. It holds your hair back. It's just quick and easy and a great way to wash your face without having to worry or fuss about your hair. I dry my face with these microfiber cloths. I get these either at Costco or Home Depot. Actually, Mark gets them, a big bag of them, and then I steal a bunch of different colored ones, and that way I can wash them as frequently as I want. I always have a clean one there available. So after my face is all clean, the first thing I do is a toner, and I have it in a little spray bottle. I just mist it into my hands and put it on my face. This is my travel one, brand new. I haven't even peeled the labels off. Um, I'll put the toner that I like. There's several different flavors. There's the aloe vera and all different ones. And I think that you could even just use witch hazel if you want, but I think it's a good thing to get your face really um, clean and prepped to absorb whatever you're gonna put on it. I've done a whole video on this and I'll link it below of how I make my own vitamin C. I have tried different ones. I have tried a lot of high-end ones. To me, this is the best. I use it on my face. I just put a couple of drops with a dropper into my hand, put it on my face and the back of my hands and my neck. I do not make up too much. I do it with distilled water and just have enough in this little dispenser for maybe four days in the bathroom and then I'll make up another batch. I try to not make up too much. The minute that you see it going yellow or brown, it's lost, lost its effectiveness. But this has lasted me ages and I like because I can make it as strong as I want. Rock Night Cream, I get this at Sam's or Costco. They usually have a two pack or sometimes this with the uh, cleaning discs, which I also love. I cut those in half. This is fabulous. You don't need to use a whole lot. It's not like more is gonna do anything different for you. You need enough to just put a light layer over the entire surface. I do not have sensitive eyes, so I make sure to get this around my lip line under my eyes and I do put it on my eyelids and I swear it's helping my hooded eyes. I uh, use probably a big fat pea <laughs> and split that in between and gently rub it all over and very thoroughly massage it in. The next step is absolutely swear by this, the alpha hydroxy from Walgreens. This is their 10% glycolic. You can also get it in a jar and no matter how I buy it, I put it into these airless pumps, which I'll try to remember to put a link below. You use a lot less of something, any product, if you put it into a pump. 
and it obviously makes it last better when it's not getting exposed to the air like this would every time that I open it. Really, really swear by this. Again, this is probably two big fat pea sizes and I rub it all over again the neck. I try to remember to do my hands with all of these things, but I don't always remember to do that. These pump bottles I get from the same place that I get my oils. I did a whole video on my oils that I'll try to remember to link. I get all my oils from a little local Arizona place a couple hours from where I live called Gardens of Wisdom. They have fabulous customer service. I order all my oils and I keep them in the fridge and I just mix up what I need for probably two weeks time in here. If you are dry, mix oils, even if you just use a baby oil or coconut oil, in with your moisturizer and put that on your body as well. I swear by oils. Love them. Love the moisturizers that I love for heavier times, the CeraVe Moisture Cream, and for the morning, I love my St. Ives Timeless Skin. I sometimes will use the heavier one in the morning if I'm really dry, but this one just has a fabulous elasticity to it and it does something for me. I really swear by it. Sometimes I will mix this and this and my Nivea all together in here and then I have the cocktail that I pump out. But this one I really swear by and St. Ives I think you can find at Walmart and Target. Love it. The final step on my face is this Medicine Mama's Sweet Bee Magic and this just has a light coat over top holds everything in so I am hydrated for the morning. Now if I'm really dry, I use a sleeping mask. This is the Freeman's beautiful honey chamomile and sleeping mask. It's very hydrating. I love this mask. If I'm in a rush, I take off my makeup and just put this on. Don't like to do that, but that's what I will do. It is very, very hydrating. Another one that I will use, and I leave this on overnight as well, is the Queen Helene olive oil mask. This has a slight green tint to it, but nothing where Mark has ever commented and said I look like an alien, so I guess it's okay. Um, you just put this on, it's very thick, and you spread it out over top. And I'll do both of these as well over top of all of my uh, retinol and all those other things if I need the moisture to hold things in. Like I said, if I'm really busy, I'll just take off my makeup and put one of these on but I prefer doing the full routine and then if I need it, one of these. These are fabulous masks, especially for the winter and the price is definitely right. The last couple of masks that I do before, if I've washed my makeup off, before I go into the shower, I will sometimes do a sheet mask. I love these two for a dollar at the dollar store and you can put them into a sealed baggie and reuse them. And then the other one is this Andalou pumpkin mask. I really like it. It's orange. It gets hot. It gets warm as it's cleaning and I really, really like it. I would order this glycolic mask again. I don't have sensitive skin. I really enjoy it. And then I wash it off when I get in the shower and then when I come out, I'll do all of my cleansing routine. So those are all the items that are in my holy grail for this year. If you have any particularly reasonably priced drugstore items, please share with me and everyone else. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a fabulous day.